is 20 cos 2 pi 10 power 60 is modulated by a message signal m of t 5 cos 8 pi 10 power 3 t to generate a DSBSC signal. It is mentioned DSBSC signal. Sketch the spectrum, determine the bandwidth and power. Determine the bandwidth and power. Okay. So now what I will do C of t is given 20 cos 2 pi 10 power 60. Compare this with AC cos 2 pi FCT. This is the general format of carrier. So now we got AC value 20 and then FC value 10 power 6 hertz. 10 power 6 hertz. Also, message signal is given M of t equal to 5 cos 8 pi 10 power 3 t. Compare this with the standard format which is AM cos 2 pi fm into t if you compare we will get am value 5 and fm value is you have to equate 2 pi you have to equate 2 pi so 4 into 10 power 3 hertz 4 into 10 power 3 hertz this is the message frequency this is the message frequency okay so now if we go for the spectrum preferably single tone modulation spectrum only we will consider in maximum cases s of f and here it is FC, FC plus FM and then FC minus FM, okay. And the minus FC, minus FC plus FM, other side minus FC minus FM. And the pillars, pillars AC, AM by 4 and AC, AM by 4. Carrier component not present because it is DSBSC. Here also the heights are AC AM by 4 and AC AM by 4. Okay. And now we will exactly calculate what the values are. This is spectrum of DSBSC. Spectrum of DSBSC. Okay. So now carrier it is 1 mega. Carrier is 1 megahertz. And this is 4 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz. So I will put this is 1 mega. Okay, 1 mega can also be written, written as 1000 K. 1000 kilohertz or 1 megahertz are same. Okay, so I will write it as 1000 K. And the plus FM means this is 1000 plus 4, 1004 kilohertz. And 1000 minus 4 means 996 kilohertz, 996 kilohertz. Now minus FC means minus 1000K and minus FC plus, okay, plus 4. Plus 4 means it will come minus 996K. Minus 1000 minus 4 means minus 1004 kilohertz. Okay, frequencies I identified. Now coming to the heights, coming to the heights, AM, AC divided by 4 means AM value 5 we got, AC value 20. Divided by 4, cancel it. 5, 5 is a 25. Okay. So this height is 5 volts. This height is 5 volts. This height also 5 volts. This height also 5 volts. Okay. So all the pillars height is 5 volts. This is about the spectrum. So what we have completed is spectrum. Sketch the spectrum. Okay. Sketch the spectrum. Completed. Next we will go with the calculations. Determine the bandwidth and power. Determine the bandwidth and power. So bandwidth means we have to take the positive side, higher cutoff frequency, lower cutoff frequency. Okay, higher cutoff, lower cutoff. And the bandwidth calculation, it is higher cutoff minus lower cutoff. Higher cutoff value is 1004, 1004. Lower cutoff value is 996K. Both are K. 1004, 996. So it becomes 8 kilohertz. 8 kilohertz is the value of bandwidth. Okay, bandwidth completed. Next, coming to power calculation, total power. Total power calculation, we know the formula. You can see the bottom. Okay, AM square, AC square by 4. AM square, AC square by 4 is the formula in DSBSC total power. So, AM value is 5. So, 5 square. AC value is 20. So, 20 square divided by 4. Okay, so now this will become 25 into 20 into 5. 
and 25 into 5 is 125 into 20 so 250 into 10 okay 250 into 10 2500 watts 2500 watts is the total power in the considered and the given uh, dsbsc problem okay so we have calculated total power and we have calculated uh, the bandwidth okay and we can draw on the spectrum also we have drawn the spectrum also now with a small another two three minutes we will close i will go with the classification types classification in dsbsc dsbsc okay classification in modulation what are the methods in demodulation what are the methods in modulation what are the methods in demodulation what are the methods in modulation we have balanced modulator and ring modulator balanced modulator second one is ring modulator ring modulator in demodulation we have in demodulation we have three methods one is synchronous demodulation this is the first one because dsbsc is for mu greater than one okay mu means modulation index mu greater than one so this is the first method second method is same envelope detection is available envelope detector is available in dsbsc third one is non synchronous demodulation non synchronous demodulation okay so these are the modulation and demodulation methods in dsbsc modulation and demodulation methods in dsbsc apart from this we have another method called qam another method application of dsbsc we have qam okay quadrature amplitude modulation something like that practical applications are there for qam so other than that the modulation and demodulation is very very important modulation we have two methods demodulation we have three methods modulation it is balanced modulator ring modulator demodulation it is synchronous demodulation envelope detection and then non-synchronous demodulation okay so next is i have to draw the block diagram for balanced modulator and discuss how it will work with equations then ring modulator i have to draw the block diagram and discuss with how it will work okay so now i cannot start that based on the time